Meantime, a private emergency team based out of Brantford has arrived in Japan to assess the medical needs there. Valerie Repka from the Canadian Medical Assistant Teams, or CMAT, joins us live by phone. Hi, Valerie. Hi, Annette. How are you? Very good, thanks. So when did your team arrive in Japan? Actually, they just arrived a few hours ago. Uh, the flight was uh, delayed a little bit out of Vancouver, and uh, they're just settling in in Tokyo for the night. Okay, so what contact have you had with them then so far? We've, uh, we've had contact uh, over the Internet by email, and uh, they've uh, called home to check in with us. Mm -hmm. And uh, they um, have, have reported some rolling blackouts, as is expected after a disaster. Um, but uh, in Tokyo, it's, as you know, it's as severely affected as other parts north. Right, and that's where they're based out of then? Is that where right they now, they're, yes. they're just settling in for the night, and then they're going to uh, attempt to make their way north from there. Oh, okay. So what kind of supplies did they bring, and what kind of work will they be doing there? Because this is really like kind of an assessment assessment mission at this point, right? That's correct. We uh, we send our assessment teams immediately after a disaster. So they're actually packed pretty light. Um, our team is made up of um, a team of five Canadians. Uh, four of them are paramedics out of BC and two Americans uh, with our partner IMAT. Uh, and they are paramedics as well. And they are uh, traveling up to the, the north and conducting a needs assessment and reporting back to us what exactly the needs would be if we were to send any further uh, medical assistance. Okay, and you've got all kinds of uh, assistance, right? Because you've actually got an inflatable field hospital you can send. That's right. We, uh, we have, and we did send it to uh, Haiti last year. Mm -hmm. uh, depending on what the needs are in the area, and uh, we also collaborate with the local authorities um, in, in the local area, uh, find that there's a lot of traumatic injuries, for example, then we have the ability to send an operating room with orthopedic surgeons, anesthesiologists, and plastic surgeons. Um, but if the need is more primary care needed, then uh, we can send uh, you know, family physicians and nurse practitioners uh, that are able to assess the patients that way. Right. And they'll also be assessing, because uh, I can imagine um, there must be a lot of doctors, nurses, and paramedics who want to volunteer to help there. And they're also going to be trying to assess, okay, just how many volunteers you're going to need with your particular team? Absolutely. And the, the key is that we, we work very closely with the local authorities and with the uh, international authorities through the UN. Um, it, uh, we are a self-sustained organization, so when we arrive in the scene, uh, we, are, we provide our own food, we have water purification systems and tents, so we are not a burden to the local community. And that is something very important to keep in mind. Mm -hmm. And you're actually trying to raise money for a water purification system, right? And not, yes. not for yourself. <laughs> no, not for ourselves, absolutely not. This this is a high, a high volume water purification system. It can actually produce about 100 liters per minute. And uh, we're looking uh, for, for uh, generous donations from the community as we are completely donor driven and, uh, and volunteer run. And donors can make a secure donation online at www.canadianmedicalteams.org. Okay. And what's the connection to Brantford then? You're based out of Brantford, right? Uh, that's our, our head office, yes. Okay, okay. So, uh, okay, so you've given us that then. Any other plans, uh, like do you s plan to spend, uh, send in another assessment team or are you just going to wait back uh, to hear what this team has to say and then go from there? Well, what the, the, the purpose of our assessment team is for them to tell us exactly what the needs are. Mm -hmm. And so once they ascertain what the needs are, then that's how we build our team. And we only send in what is needed, and uh, so not to overwhelm the community. And uh, depending on what they find, we'll send in either trauma teams or primary care teams. Or if they don't need personnel at all, then we'll send supplies if they need that. Okay, so that's right. It really depends on what they find. Because you, the worst thing you, you can have, right, is volunteers standing there not really being able to do anything. That must be and, very and, frustrating. And, and using necessary uh, water and food that uh, can be that, that victims need as well. Right. Well, Valerie Repka, thanks so much for talking to us from the Canadian Medical Assistant Team, and hopefully we can talk back with you in a couple of days to find out how the team is doing. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Annette. Okay. Thanks, Valerie.